Good morning everyone. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. What you're looking at is at the top or a portion of the top of my um my typewriter that that I made for the collab off the page collaboration with uh, Tamika of Scrap the World. And the reason I have it out is because I have, want to share some things with you guys that I've been working on and some hauls. So this is not a haul, but something that I that I added here is really something I want to share uh, because I know there's a lot of us crafters that do 3, 3D projects or something really... Uh, I don't want to say that a card is not special or embellishments aren't special, but sometimes we do like mini albums that are a little bit more. We put more work into them and you want to, you know, put your label on there or your stamp. And a lot of us do have personalized stamps. And so do I. I have in. Uh, I don't have a stamp. I have in uh, a paper embosser. But you know, to be quite honest, it's kind of hard on my hands, especially the older I get. And I'll share that with you what it looks like. And uh, sometimes it's it's a little hard. It's this right here, and you know you have to squeeze it really hard. And the paper is in between here. Let me show it to you. So you put the paper in between here and you have to squeeze like really hard. Like this is hard for me to squeeze. And you know, the harder you squeeze, you get a better impression. But because it's so hard for me, see, you can see a little bit right there. Um, but it is kind of, you know, hard on my hands. So I wanted to have something different to go on my 3D projects or my mini albums or something like that that I can put my, my, my signature on and um, I want to share with you what I picked up and um, I'm going to flip this over hopefully let me stand up so I can see what you guys are seeing and let me move you a little bit I hate that this um, clamp is acting up again I'm sorry guys but I just have to adjust for a little bit um, Hopefully you can see, see the, the, see the name plaque right here. This one right here, it says created to create. Uh, I can't see what you're seeing, but I hope that you see it clearly. And it's right here and it is an acrylic nameplate, a custom nameplate plate that I had done. And it is a seller on Etsy and I will share her information with you. And it's not very big. It's probably maybe about two inches long, if that. And it measures about, I'm gonna say about half inch uh, wide. Let's get a ruler really quick. I have stuff on in front of my desk and I can give you exact measurements on this. So the little named uh, plaque measures about, I'm going to say two and a quarter inches. And the width is about half an inch. So the width on this little plate is about a half an inch and it measures about two, two and a quarter inches uh, long. And I love it. See, it says created to create. And it does have holes on either end that you can add uh, brads or screws or whatever you want to put it on with. On my typewriter, because I already had it done, what I did was I um, I just glued it on. And I could, of course, glue, on, glue in some brads so it'll look like, you know, I use brads on there. But I haven't done it yet. I just got them in yesterday. So anyway, I want I want to share those with you. Let me move this out of the way oh I really have to clean up my desk so I have sewing up here I have all kinds of things up here because I work on 10 things at a time so see here you go again this thing I'm gonna bring you down a little closer let's turn it more this way and adjust it so uh, one of the things that I got in uh, were were the little name tags and look at the beautiful custom box that she made for me um, she created this box for me as an extra I don't think your tags would come in a box like this if you ordered them uh, because I had ordered from her and her machine uh, was down and she had to cancel my order and uh, so I told her that's fine just cancel it I'll wait and um uh, and I didn't order from anybody else but she is from Canada so they do take a while to come in and um 
couple days later, she messaged me that her machine was up and running. So I said, okay, let's try this again. And you know, guys, we have to give people a second chance. We really do have to, especially when it's their business, because that's their livelihood. And uh, so I went ahead and I said, okay, let's do, let's try it again. And I doubled my order the second time around. And she said, I'm going to send you something extra. And I believe that this little box was the extra that she sent me, but it is beautiful. See, she stamped it with the same as she did the same image as the little plates that she created for me. And she put created to create on there. And, and here is the name of her where you can find her. And she is on Etsy as well, but I guess you can go directly to her shop and just order from her there. And uh, she did a beautiful job on this box. So I'm going to show you the little name. Believe it or not, there's uh, 50 in here. I ordered 50 of them. My first order was 25. Let me see if I can get one out without dumping all of them out. At least get one out. Yeah, there it goes. So it's nice and compact. Here is... Look at how pretty that is. And these are a copper color. And it says cre it's engraved created to create. And again, it's got the little holes. See, if I remove my finger, you can see my finger is almost the color of this copper. <laughs> but you can see that it has holes on either ends. So I really like these. Thank you so much uh, for my tags and for my custom box. I really appreciate it. Guys, I'm going to put the link to her uh, shop in the description box so if you guys are interested in getting something custom made like this you can hop on over to her uh, shop on Etsy and get them and let me share some other things with you guys but throughout the video I'm probably gonna have to be adjusting so as you all know I bought I shared these tags with you before by uh, hot off the press I bought the tag set and I had bought the dies and the stamps well I found the Christmas ones and look at how pretty they are. So these are the ones I picked up on eBay as well. They are so pretty. And I've bought a couple of them from this seller and, sh and they're pretty good about sending them to me. So I just wanted to share these with you. Uh, another, like I said, you can use the same die for both stamp sets. So that's what I like about these. And um, let me find a spot for all my stuff. And then I picked up, oh, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Y'all know I'm crazy about anything that's coffee or tea themed. And, um, and I found a seller, believe it or not, I thought I would never find the complete set. I only own two pieces of this set. And, um, and, um. By the time that I decided, okay, I'm going to, you know, it's a heartfelt, is a little pricey. Uh, and I was so glad to find these. By the time I made the investment, you know, it was discontinued. They didn't make this style, this uh, particular collection anymore. And I found a seller on Etsy that, that wanted $150 for it. But I made an offer of $120 and they took it. And I was so very happy. Um, so whenever you shop on Etsy, make an offer for something. You never know. They might take you up on it. Um, so I, it was, I think it's eight pieces that I got for 120 and I was super happy. So I got the stamp, uh, the cup with the whip topping, the little spoon and the heart that says, love you a latte. So here are the images that are in here in this stamp set. And then I got the, uh, coordinating die for it. So here's the die. I went ahead and, you know, the whole thing, it was a complete set, except for the paper, I believe. So I got the little cup, the little spoon die, the whipped topping, and the little uh, mug, coffee cup. So I got that. And then I got the background stamp, or not really, it's more like a, it's more like elements. It has the coffee beans, uh, sentiments, the coffee stain. So I really like this one. Here's what's in this one sentiments and some different elements so I got that one and then this one is the whip topping uh, that goes with the other cup and it does also have sentiments and this is a stamp 
and so was the the previous one so that's that and then here is the background stamp i really like this because i even though i don't i don't have the paper that coordinates with it i could custom make my own paper any pattern that i like and just stamp the different images on there and turn it into a custom paper so there is the the stamp set so i got that this set right here i have uh, with my mug I had this I think this die and this die but I didn't have the stamps for it I bought these in a set and uh, my friend Nisha really wanted them so I gifted them to her and so I didn't keep none for myself I gave them to her and I thought I would never ever 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 find the stamp set that went to my my other pieces I had and God is so good let me tell you I found this stamp was included in the set so it has the stacked up cups, it has the border, and then again, another sentiment. So pretty. So here, a couple of sentiments and then the cups. I really like this. So these were the two that I already owned. And it was the mug with, again, some sentiments. And then it was the die that went with it. But see right here, the stacked up cups and the borders, I didn't have the stamps for that. But now I do. So these are extras, but I'm gifting these to a friend. These I'm sending to a friend of mine. It's a birthday present. And then another thing. Let me move that to a side. Another thing that I picked up. I thought this die was little. And this is a Spellbinders die. And it is called Delightful Foliage. And I was looking for something a little smaller. Maybe about three inches. Two inches. Two, between two and a half and three inches and I ordered this uh, I think I ordered this also on eBay and the seller was really quick about sending it to me and uh, but I'll share it with you it's pretty big so I got something that I didn't know was this big but I was pleasantly surprised look at how huge there are my hands look at how huge this thing is it's huge and uh, it has the shadow and then it has the intricate cut and then it has the little uh, label, the little label as well. So I was pleasantly surprised with this. Uh, I probably would have been disappointed if I just wanted a small one, and but I want both big and small. So I am pleasantly surprised. So I picked that up. Now, I think that's all the goodies that I picked up, but I do want to share a, uh, a project with you guys. I have been working... I have been working with the um, the embossing folders that I got from Crafters Companion. And I'm going to share the card I made for my mother. Look at this beautiful card. How pretty is that? Now, you might ask how come it has an A. Uh, some of you know that my mother's name is Olivia, So that's why it has an A on here. And I added these metal corners uh, on the card and they're very light almost like tin or aluminum very thin uh, these were gifted to me by my friend Sonia hi Sonia I put your corners to good use and then I added a, a triple layer bowl right here with organza and a little dragonfly from uh, Renee Bouquet's I just added a little silver stickles just a little bit to the wings to enhance it a little it's it was already pretty but I felt like it need I wanted to bring out some of the silver and then this right here is a die that my friend Carolyn had gifted me, and it was a center die uh, to a bigger die. So I added the A here, and this A right here is a Cherry Lynn alphabet set that I have, and I'm going to open it. Okay, the reason I put an A on here is because every name means something. So my thought in creating this custom card for my mother was putting... Uh, the definition to her name or what her name means so I printed it out with my uh, laser printer and I put a piece of uh, iridescent silver foil on top so it says Lydia and then it, her name means noble kind uh, and then it's of the sort of the noble sort so that's what I did for her and I, I should have the reason it's bigger is because my mom is older so the bigger the letters the better but of course you would do this smaller and then I, I messed up I'm gonna tell you why because it, this was a Mother's Day card I could have put what she meant then I could have put happy Mother's Day and I didn't 
Uh, but still, I can write a message here and, and say Happy Mother's Day to her. So this is the one that I created for her. I really love, look at that foil. It's so pretty. I was afraid that it wouldn't stand out on white on white, but it does. And then here is my seal that I put on my card. And actually, it's a little uh, crooked because I was going to put it down straight or I tried to put it down straight and kind of touched the paper and stuck. And I felt like I would ruin it if I tried to peel it off and straighten it because these are real sticky. So I put a silver foil with uh, my name. This one says, um, handmade by Ida Martinez. I am designs. I am is my initials. Uh, it says, I am designs genuine creation. So anyway, that's what I created for my mother for Mother's Day. I really like it. And then I've been playing with another one. Uh, again, Crafter's Companion uh, folder, and um, I kind of ruined this folder, you guys, because I, I ran it through my machine, and I forced it. It was really tight, and I shouldn't have done that, so don't do that. Don't do what I did. Anyway, this is the poppy embossing folder in the corner, and I think the poppy, uh, my friend Jackie told me that it has uh, one that has them in the center, Um I don't own that one. I own this one on the side. And I think they're so pretty. The embossing is beautiful. I put a happy birthday up here. Uh, die cut. I cut it out of paper and out of foam. And the only thing I blinged out with stickles was the B and the Y. Because those are the curvy letters that are on there. Again, here's another Rene Bouquet uh, little dragonfly. And this one doesn't have a sentiment. But it is on foam. I layer my cards on foam so it's still blank and here's my seal again. So I wouldn't use the little plaques on cards and stuff like that, but I would use um I would use those on like memory albums, 3D projects, stuff like that. But these are the two embossing folders that I had been playing with. And I did play with a third one, but I felt like maybe I needed to add an extra layer. And this is the, I think it's called uh, Venetian Lace or Vintage Lace or something by Crafter's Companion. Then this one is not a 3D folder. You can see very well that it embossed, but I think that if I had put another layer, uh, the, the embossing would have been a little bit more prominent. And I think I would have liked it better. I still like it like this, but I think it can be better. So these are the ones that I have been playing with. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't think there's anything I need else I need to share with you guys. I think that's all I picked up and got in. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day. And God bless. Bye.